This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Welcome to Adventures in Small Business, a collaborative effort by the U.S. Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office, the Small Business Development Center, the Veterans Business Center of the Outreach of the Pacific, and the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. I'm Terry Funakoshi, your host for today. And today we're talking to Crystal Van Putten, Hawaii artist. She's going to talk to us about art to product. So welcome, Crystal. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you for coming. So Crystal, tell us a, a little bit about yourself. I'm originally from um, Washington State, and I moved here about 15 years ago. And when you first arrived to Honolulu, you just smelled a beautiful fragrance on the trees, the flowers. And um, is that what you loved? <laughs> yes. And um, yeah, I loved the flowers, the beauty, the bright colors, the vivid colors. So did you move here um, by yourself 15 years ago? Um, my daughter and I. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. So this is your home now, 15 yes, years. Yes, been here 15 years. Great. So what brought you to the island? Um, I just love the beauty. Um, I loved to travel before. And um, who doesn't love Hawaii? <laughs> right. And so you was telling me, so when you got here, you actually went to school? Yes, I went to KCC. Um, I was taking New Media Arts. And I was going for web design and graphic design. And um, I was taking elective as um, painting as elective. And I just enjoyed it. Ah, so is that where you picked up your, your love for art? Yes. Um, when KCC had some beautiful flowers and um, cactus garden. It's just beautiful grounds. And um, I just fell in love with it. And one of our assignments for a painting class was to paint something outside. So I know you were telling me that you took it in as elective. Yes. But I mean, today you're an artist. So tell me more about you know, how, what was that road like? Did somebody help you, or what was the journey? Um, yes, I had a great teacher, a mentor. Um, he was a great instructor. Um, we first had to do a life, um, um, life, what do you call it? Like, life class. Oh. <laughs> well, still life. OK, uh -huh. still life um, painting. And then I wanted to advance more in painting, so I enjoyed the colors and mixing the paint and um, putting it on that canvas and experimenting. And so uh, I know you, you were telling me the first thing you did, was it um, was a diamond head? Yes. Yeah, tell me about that. When I first arrived, I saw diamond head. I just fell in love with Waikiki and diamond. And that's the first painting I wanted to paint. And I wanted to put it on my wall. Mm -hmm. So I know you switched over to florals. So can you tell us what motivated you to do yes. this collection? Back at KCC, um, um, I would say I saw the cactus garden. And um, it would have the flourish. Um, Cactus, agave, and then we have the, the other agave, and uh, I painted that violet. So, so are you, are you talking about on the grounds of Casey? Yes, I changed the colors a little bit because uh -huh. um, why does the cactus have to be green? So I wanted to change up the colors, make it a little vi vibrant and mm -hmm. and vivid. Because I you know I, I've been to the the campus and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, but I actually didn't notice all the plants there. So it's interesting that you walking the campus, you saw you got motivated mm -hmm. by all the plants. So I know we have some of your um, pictures, your art pictures that we we want to share. Um, let's see, you have, I know you have the persimmon. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us about that painting? Yes, persimmon was my first um, painting that I did, and. It's on the screen. Um, and um, what I did with the painting is I, with my graphic design skills, I made them into cards and um, packaged it like for, for. So I know you said this design, um, a lot of people were interested in it. So was this the first one that you actually did? And for the, uh, to make as an art card? Yes, it is. Um, it's called Persimmon Hibiscus, and then how I got the name was from the YWCA, mm -hmm. and um, because it's orange and persimmon is orange, and that's um, the YWCA's colors. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to promote, um, well, myself, right, <laughs> and then as an artist, and um, so I wanted to name it Persimmon Hibiscus, mm -hmm. and then we got to package them into these cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. Can I see that? Yes. Oh. Okay, so I, I remember, so I bought this, um, I think last year you brought this out, right? Mm -hmm. And I know you, um, it was a donation to YWCA. Yes. So that's great. So, so this was your first. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what came out next? 
Okay, so I'm working on a new collection. Uh -huh. So we have um, some new cards coming out before more, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be packaging them in five. Mm -hmm. so I'm going um, to continue with the persimmon hibiscus and then have four more paintings mm -hmm. on the cards. Let's take a look at it. So what's next? Do you have uh, the rainbow leaves you're talking about? Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about that one. Uh, okay, the rainbow leaves. Um, this is an elephant ear plant on, on KCC grounds. And I was walking by and I just thought these big, huge leaves were just fascinating. So I wanted to paint it. And then I decided to change up the colors and paint some of my favorite colors, phthalo blue and cadmium yellow. And, um, and then when I was naming it, I just realized it had the rainbow colors in it. That's very pretty. And how did you how did you um, see those colors? Because I know this plant is just green, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not creative, so I, mean, I just see the green plant. How did you come up with this palette? Well, one of my ideas um, when I saw the cactus is why do I have to paint the cactus green? It's like I want to paint it my favorite color. Mm -hmm. So I painted one cactus blue, and then I started expanding where I just changed the colors, and I was experimenting with the paint palette and um, mixing paint. And I really enjoyed the process. Oh, nice. And this is all oil painting, right? Yes, these are oil painting. Nice. That's really cool. So I know what's your next one? Um, I know you have five, so I want to get through them. So Plumeria. Can you show the card too? Plumeria? Yes. Plumeria Paradise. Plumeria Paradise. Okay, mm -hmm. I think we have a shot of that. There mm -hmm. you go. So uh, tell us about this one. Plumeria Paradise. Well, I saw that first beautiful burgundy maroon color. Um, plumeria on a tree when I was actually walking home from White, um, from uh, KCC and I thought it was gorgeous and I, I take pictures of these are all actual plants mm -hmm. and cactuses so I took pictures of them and then I uh, print it out and then I paint from it from the picture or sometimes I paint um, plain air so um, and I really loved it and this is one of the fragrances you can smell <laughs> all over in Hawaii right we love plumeria mm -hmm. Great. So, okay, I know you have another one here, Royal Moonlight. Which one is that? This one? That card? Yes. Royal Moonlight. One. Yes. I love that. That's beautiful. I love the purples and blues. Tell us a little bit about that card. Um, well, I just thought the curves and the form of this cactus was interesting. Where I'm from in, um, in Washington State, it's on the rainy side, and um, I I didn't. I haven't seen really much cactuses, so I saw all the cactuses in the cactus garden. And I thought they were very interesting, and I just like the form, how it folds, and the lighting, and so. And I wanted to change up the colors. Mm -hmm. I love it. The purples and blues. It's Thank very, you. It's very royal. It Thank looks you. nice. Great. Okay, I, I know we have one more. Yes. Yeah, I think this is like a lot of people's favorite. <laughs> Tell us about this one. This one's called. Um, Emerald Flourish, and I named it Emerald because it has the emerald colors, and um, just kind of reminds me of the ocean. I'm a paddler too, so just kind of like the waves, you know, with the greens and the blues and the ocean, and um, and also Emerald is Emerald City, in Seattle, and you know, I'm from Washington State, so I wanted, and I just really love the color, the emerald color, so I wanted to name it Emerald, and then Flourish. How I got that was, um, it seems like it was thriving and. And um, and just remind me of success and mm -hmm. just flourishing and prospering. I think that's why um, that's a lot of people's favorite. So you're you're telling me that um, you know you did the paintings and you, you have it at home. You're enjoying it, but people kept asking if they could buy it. So I mean, how did you go from you know creating these paintings as an elective, yes. you know, to making products? Yeah, that, that I I was approached a lot to people wanted to buy my paintings. Mm -hmm. And then why not? Why shouldn't I sell it to them? And I was like, well, these are my paintings. I have them on my walls, part of my family, and um, they're the originals. And um, but I wanted to share my art, so I wanted to put them on note cards. And my goal is to put them on tote bags. Mm -hmm. So you want to share your art through the products, yes, and, and then keep your paintings for the family. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So you know, um, another thing I wanted to ask you, I um, I have it here is. You know, what really um, motivated you and how did you get to this point? I know you were telling me earlier you had a lot of help and you, and you really pride yourself in making it in Hawaii. And I know that's hard. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us uh, a little bit of uh, the journey on how you, how you got to this point? Okay. 
Well, I wanted to develop my, um, I wanted to take my paintings into a product form. So um, having the new media art skills, which is photography, graphic design, web design, I was able to do that. So I would take the photograph of the painting and then bring it into Photoshop, make sure you know the colors are gray, and, um, and then printing it out. But I went to the Mink Center and um, for business classes, launched my business, and um, they were actually helped me to form my business. So there's a step and then process. Oh, great. So we're going to take a short break right now, but when I come back, I'm going to ask you the hard question of, you know, how it is to be an artist and an entrepreneur. Okay. So we'll be right back in one minute. Thank you. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. When I was growing up, I was among the one in six American kids who struggle with hunger. But with the power of breakfast, the kids in your neighborhood can think big and be more. Go to hungeris.org to make breakfast happen for kids in your neighborhood. If you're not in control of how you see yourself, then who is? Live above the influence. Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Gabrieli. I'm the host for Young Talents Making Way here on FinTech Hawaii. We talk every Tuesday at 11 a.m. about things that matter to tech, matter to science, uh, to the people of Hawaii with some extraordinary guests, the students uh, of our schools who are participating in science fair. So Young Talents Making Way every Tuesday at 11 a.m. only on FinTech Hawaii. Mahalo. Aloha, we're back and we're talking to Crystal Van Putten, artist, and she's going to tell us about her entrepreneurship journey. So Crystal, um, when we left off, I really want to know, how did you get to this stage here with your cards? And a lot of people out there, you know, um, have ho art hobbies and are playing with and they think, should I make products? How hard is it to make? So can you share, you know, some advice as how you can actually make the product? Um, yes. Um, well, I took that launch my business class at um, Mink Center. And um, we had to make a business plan and write out an action plan and the steps. That's the, you know, you can see your painting and then at what you want for the end product, but how the steps is a big That's process. The hard, That's yes. the hard part, right? Yes. <laughs> so how did, that, uh, how did that help you? Oh, um, it helped me a lot because you have to write it out. But you can write it out and talk about it, but actually doing it is whole, Oh, a lot different because <laughs> you have to keep proofing your right. work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So did they help you along the way? Yes, I got a lot of help. Um, they're a great center, and I recommend going there. Um, so I, yes, I got feedback. I got mentorship. Um, I got business advice. And I know you're telling me you did some research. So um, how did you end up? Where did you end up printing the cards? How did you print it? Oh, professional image downtown, uh -huh. local business. Uh -huh. um, I worked with Clover. She's great. Um, we have a great relationship in, in getting my product out, and she's very efficient, and I just really appreciate it. Um, she's the one that helped me get these products out, and, and she helped me with my tags, and I was able to do my first show last year. Oh, great. So I know here you brought um, some proofs. Can yes. you tell us about this? Yes, these are the proofs. So this actually comes out like this on the printer, mm -hmm. you know, with the logo and the name on this side and then the, the, um, the print. Mm -hmm. So, um, and so it's nice seeing it coming out of the printer. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> and then, then they crop them and um, make the cards out of them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So how was that process? I know it, it you know, people think it might be easy just <laughs> Create the art, take a picture, and then you know have it printed. Yes, it helps if you have graphic design skills because you can see if the color's right or does it match my painting or not. And then I think the hardest part is really I wanted to get the right names for my painting. I know I did a lot of research and um, remembered how when I painted them, and you know to match it and mm -hmm. to have a nice collection. Mm -hmm. And I know, I remember you telling me that you had to proof them like, I don't know, a dozen times. Yeah. Make sure they're I accurate. did, and, and, and you gotta have the right printer. And, and, um, and you know, we got it worked out, which printer I like, and the outcome, it comes out. And um, 
the attention to detail. Yes, attention to detail. Yeah. <laughs> I know I, I worked with a lot of artists, and then you know you print something, and then when you see it, you're like, oh no, that's not it, and you know you can waste a lot of money that way. So yes. I know you're very you're you're really good with you know your eye is really good, and you pay attention to detail. So um, it's exciting because. I did buy these cards last year, and it was a it was a hit. Everybody loved them. So from from there, from from your painting to to the finished cards, this is this is great. And uh, let's see. So this is be available again this year. Yes. Um, okay. And then tomorrow, um, the new four the four new cards are going to be coming out, and they're going to be packaged five together, like a variety pack. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really hot off the press. Hot off the press tomorrow. <laughs> yes. So they'll be available tomorrow. So uh, you said they'd be available tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Where, where, where is downtown that? court and court? Are you going to be at an event? Yes, I am. Um, starts at five thirty at the YWCA on Richard Street, mm -hmm. and um, a salute to uh, veterans mm -hmm. uh, fundraiser. So I'll be there um, showcasing my cards. Great, great. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you. You know, all these uh, these lessons learned that you went through. You went through the class mm -hmm. and everything. You know. What does, uh, what does success look like to you? I mean, what is your vision you know, for your products, for you, for your future? Well, after this collection, I'm working on five more cards coming out before Christmas. Um, it's a, kind of a different art, but mm -hmm. it's still my art. And mm -hmm. then, um, I mean, it's still floral and mm -hmm. plants, but um, different technique. And um, I want those to come out. I want to like make a tote bag, so I have a design that I like to um, produce. Um, and, and we get it manufactured here, so it's um, made in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And then um, I like to see it in stores, so cards, um, tote bags, maybe merchandise, maybe apparel. And then um, long-term goal would be um, exporting. Oh, great. So are we going to see um, these designs on apparel and totes? I hope so, yes. So I got to design, the tote bags will be easy. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it on the clothing, mm -hmm. so um, how it's going to work into the design. Oh, great. I know um, we were showing your art earlier, and somebody was asking for pillows and home accessories. So Yeah, you, you very gotta... exciting. It, it can expand. I think it's a really great industry to get into. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, people look at art. I mean, I know that, you know, art is subjective, and it's to the eye. But what is, what's unique about your business? What do you think uh, is the selling point? Well, I believe um, I have saturated colors and um, arbitrary colors, so I don't like just paint the green leaf like we were talking about earlier. I paint them in different colors. Um, I like to expand off the canvas. Um, I would say, um, I don't know, I just think the vivid colors catch people's eyes. So, you know, you said you like to expand off the canvas. How, I mean, how big are these actual paintings? Are they, are they big? Yes, they're pretty big. Um, the, the plumeri, I mean, excuse me, the persimmon hibiscus one is 20 by 30, but the rest of them are pretty large. Like, um, yeah, pretty big. <laughs> so that's pretty hard, so you have to, you have to scan that? Yes, that is, um, takes some money to do that, so that's the next step I need to do is um, fill a lot of cards and, um, and then get them all scanned so they're uh, a great, and so they're a digital file that's quality. Mm -hmm. So I know there's you know a lot of uh, competition out there. So so how do you take you know how do you look at competition here in Hawaii or or do you look at that? Um, no, I yeah, it doesn't scare me. It's like I I have a different um, technique or a different style of painting. I think a lot of artists have their own style, mm -hmm. and that's what you got to um, pursue your passion, and then it, it comes within, mm -hmm. and how you see things and how you feel and your creativity. So it, it depends on the artist and then what other people like, too. Mm -hmm. Have you had any challenges with your art, people? Well, I had, yeah, a couple of challenges where it took me a long time to get the, the paintings titled. Mm -hmm. um, I think this one here, when I first put it in a show, it was called Violet Cactus. I was like, oh, it was kind of like too plain. So I wanted to make it interesting. Um, so I named it um, Royal Moonlight. So. Um, so coming up with the titles and the meanings and double checking them and um, and that was one of my longest times and I date everything when I do a process and I write notes I date everything because I started like really researching back in April and I had them take do some sacrifices I'm a paddler 
And right now, all my friends are having fun paddling and going out and having fun, and I'm sitting working. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to had to step back from that, and um, I was even on the board as a secretary, and I had to uh, resign as that because I want to move forward in my business. And it takes a lot of time and focus and effort and process and, you know, like, Sometimes I'd be sitting home figuring, I'm looking up in the dictionary or online these names and you know, double checking everything. And it takes a long time and just to get, be in that creative mode. Right. I mean, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, you know, to be an entrepreneur, it, it's a, it is a lot of sacrifice, a mm -hmm. lot of hard work. I know you're telling me, um, you know, like art subjective, people were saying, you know, maybe a naysayers or how do you deal with that? Oh, um, I know in school you said you went, when you went to UH. You know? Yes, um, I learned the new media arts at KCC, and it was, it was very nice because they teach you the software, and they, um, they have, you can do a client showcase and portfolio and website. And then I went to UH; they have a different um, pr approach to it, more hands-on, um, and it actually helped me because um, <laughs> I didn't think that at the time when you're cutting out sentences and pasting it on paper <laughs> and I was like oh I just came from a technology school and I'm going to this and then but actually it helped me really because I, ca I can catch things now mm -hmm. and I could proof it and I can catch it so it's like I really like that at the time it was really hard but <laughs> and then um, the other question was well I know you said you had challenges you know people you know questioning your art and and things but you just push forward. Yes, that's what you got to do. You got to pursue your passion and believe in yourself and just keep pushing through it. And, um, and I wanted these cards to come out a little bit earlier this year, but um, you know, I wanted to rephotograph some of the work because the files I had were a little bit um, earlier or a smaller file, and I wanted to rephotograph them. And then we're having our storms coming in to Hawaii, and I had to wait to photograph, and then. Um, so I wanted to do that and get the, the right file and then, and then make sure it's edited right and, and graphic design and then the print would come out correct. Right, and I, and I know a lot of artists, um, I mean, you're very persistent, a lot of artists, you know, people say, oh, you know, it's hard, the whole cliche, starving <laughs> artist, you know. How do you deal with that? Because I know a lot of times, you know, you get defeated and, you know, it's, is my art good enough or not? I mean, it's a real, it's a real thing, right? You hear people saying that. How do you, and you're so positive, how do you overcome that? Well, start, start being an artist. That's where I couldn't go out with my friends because they're all having fun, going to restaurants, eating and celebrating and after each regatta and um, even now, you know. And um, you have to like think, okay, my money's gonna go to my prints or my money's gonna go starting my business. So you have to make those sacrifices and you know, it's off season right now, so I figured I can get back into the game and competitive season. So, um, which is in March. So, um, so I want to do that. So. You, be you better tell all your um, your Palo sisters to buy your cards then. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. They're they're very supportive. Yeah, yeah I have a great team and a great crew oh, at Lokahi. <laughs> good. So, what else do you want to tell us about your your art career or your art? Where do you see it going? Well, I would like to get them um, the cards and tote bags and merchandise into the local stores here nationwide, and then. Um, long-term goal would be exporting. Mm -hmm. And I know you were saying that you were working with YWCA. Can you tell us about your what you, what you were doing with them last year for your... Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, well, the Persimmon Hibiscus, I was their featured artist, mm -hmm. and um, the YWCA was my biggest client, and they had sent it out to their clients, their donors, for a Christmas card last year. Mm -hmm. And I was in the Arts and Crafts Fair at the YWCA, mm -hmm. and um, and this is what we're selling, you know, these packaged ones. They're four in a set. Mm -hmm. And then I was seeing, selling them as singles, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just wanted to bring that up because I know you have a really big heart. And, you know, all the proceeds went to help all of the programs, which I know you've taken. So, you know, thank you for that. I really, I really believe that, you know, any business with a social arm is really awesome. So thank you for, you know, supporting the community. Yes, thank you very much. So we're, we're almost out of time, Crystal, but I wanted to make sure that everybody knew where they could, uh, you know, check out all your stuff. You want to let them know uh, you have a website? Yes, it's crystalvanputten.com, mm -hmm. and um, you can find my, some of my pictures on there and then some events that I've been in. Mm -hmm. 
And so um, do you plan to do more events this year? Can we find that on your website? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be tomorrow night is the downtown in Cork. Okay. So that's the first event. And then I have some other ones lined up for, for December. the holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, we look forward to seeing all of that, Crystal. Thank you so much for being on today. Yes, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. This is Adventures uh, in Small Business, and I'm Terry Funakoshi from the Patsy Teaming Center for Business and Leadership. Join us again here next week. Aloha.